Hi, this is Pisa Eel with another Eel Talk. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about my predictions for the next death battle, which is between Blake from Ruby and Mercasa Mer- 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 from Attack on Titan. So let's go into a little detail of these two. So Blake has like her um, sword that she has stealth a lot and can cut through a lot of things with ease. Um, she can also turn into a gun. She's able to use um, this energy, light energy that kind of, I say light energy, but it's always shown as dark, um, to kind of like a rope type thing where it connects to something and she kind of does some vertical attacks and stuff like that. She also has the ability to create clones of herself um, based on the dust she uses. So fire is fire clones. She can do shadow clones, just her natural ability. Um, Fire clones explode on contact. Uh, When she uses ice dust, she has uh, ice clones. Um, Sand dust, I believe, is the stone clone. And then when she uses lightning dust or electric dust, she can teleport. Um, she's got a wide range of abilities. Um, she's physically strong. Um, she has great abilities overall. Um, but experience-wise, I don't know necessarily how much she has. I mean, I know she's done a lot, don't get me wrong, but in the grand scheme of things, how efficient is she with all her abilities is going to be key in this one. Rakasa. So she's an attack on Titan. Um, she's skilled with swords, um, the equipment to kind of spin around the Titans and slice them up. She's also has the ability for these spears that kind of blow up. Um, apparently she can hold like eight of them or something like that. And she can detonate them. She can apparently use them with great accuracy. She's physically very strong, and they uh, equate her to equal like a uh, like a hundred soldiers. Um, <clears throat> but she doesn't have any like magical abilities. It's just physical raw power in her equipment. So these two girls are very similar, but. It's tough because at first I wanted to go with Blake because she has the versatility. She has all those different abilities, you know, fire, ice, stone, lightning, shadow clones, all of the above, teleporting. Um, oh my God, so she, she's got experience on her side, I think, personally. She's got better skills. I think she's more intelligent. Um... Physically, she just might be stronger and more skilled. <sighs> it's tough. Do I want to go with versatility or do I want to go with pure strength? I'm two for two right now, and I'd like to be three and two, but this one could go either way. <sighs> I'm going to go with it because of the versatility. I'm going to go with Blake from Ruby is going to win this death battle. I think technically Mercasa is going to be physically stronger, but I think Blake with her versatility and her magic, she's going to be, or dust, I should say, she's going to pull ahead and win because it's something she's never faced before and she's only faced just giants because I think physically Blake's not going to be strong enough alone. But with her added versatility, can get the edge to get in for an attack. So, right now, I'm sticking with it. Blake from Ruby is going to win this death battle. That's my prediction. So, make sure we're going to find out on Monday whether or not I'm correct or not. Um, But as always, this is BCEO signing out. Have a good night.